All right, so let's talk about how to boost your body's own collagen production and supply your body with more collagen, with food. Now, as I've talked about, doing powders as part of a superfood smoothie is fantastic. But along with that, we wanna get these other foods right in your diet. And you know, I don't have just a list here of vegetables and fruits. These are the most effective foods on the planet for boosting your body's own collagen production. So to start off with here, I'm gonna talk about real homemade bone broth, okay? This is, you can see here, organic real bone broth uh, that I actually had shipped to my house here. And the thing that I love about this is first, it tastes fantastic. Ch chicken broth tastes really, really good. This is cooked for about 24 hours. Now you can make it at home bone broth yourself, but the other option is you can buy it frozen at your health food store. You could buy it in a, in a container. You the big thing you wanna make sure is like in this one, they're really, the only ingredients are chicken bones and then uh, it's chicken feet along with onion, apple cider vinegar, garlic, and Celtic sea salt and parsley. That's it. Those are the only ingredients. So there's real food in here. You want to make sure when you're buying broth that there's not other ingredients. That it's really just the chicken parts or the beef parts, and that's really it, okay? Or the vegetables too, and that's it. So real bone broth here. Now here's the thing. The reason I put this down here, of all the foods that you can have on the planet, this is number one. And this is more than beef broth. Chicken broth specifically is the most collagen boosting food on the planet. The reason being is it not only contains collagen, it also contains glucosamine, chondroitin, and hyaluronic acid. These are, a, are part of a family called glucosaminoglycans, and they've been shown to boost your body's own collagen production. Did you know there's a lot of people across the country, especially on the West Coast, let's say LA, New York, a lot of these different areas where you've got a lot of celebrities, where people are doing a lot of hyaluronic acid injections into their skin to help with anti-aging. A lot of athletes get hyaluronic acid injections into their joints to actually uh, help with um, reduce inflammation, help heal damaged ligaments and tendons. So all that being said, chicken broth is the best collagen boosting food on the planet. All right, number two, let's talk about goji berries. Now, goji berries, uh, one of my favorite superfoods, high in vitamin C, high in antioxidants. You can get these in two ways. Now, these are the berry. This is actually a Himalayan superfruit. So really, really amazing. In Chinese medicine, these were known as adaptogens. You can see these kind of little, this is a whole cluster, a whole berry. This is how big it is. It's very, very small. But these goji berries are something that, especially when I'm traveling, I like to have as a snack. So if you're traveling and you're on a collagen diet, Goji berries are a great snack to bring with you. So again, you can do them as the berries, but when I'm home most of the time, I actually do a goji berry powder. And I'll take a scoop, about a tablespoon, and I'll add this into my morning superfood smoothie. So I'll do a scoop of multi-collagen protein, I'll do a scoop of bone broth protein, I'll do a handful of blueberries, I'll do some almond or coconut milk, and then I'll add in a little bit of goji berry powder. Now sometimes I'll add in a little bit of herbs like cinnamon in there as well, but this is what I'll do for my morning smoothie. Big benefit, rich natural vitamin C, full of enzymes, other antioxidants, so you could also do this as a powder. Next superfood to boost collagen are blueberries. If someone were to ask me what's the healthiest fruit you can find in your supermarket, it's blueberries. Blueberries are high in resveratrol. They're high in fla flavonoids. They're high in anthocyanins. I mean, all of these things, you may not know what those are, but these are all types of antioxidants that have powerful effects on the body. Blueberries are the absolute best. They're also great for gut health. Some fruits are harder to digest. Some fruits can promote candida in the body. The big thing about blueberries are they don't do that compared to some other fruits that may actually be a more dampening to the body. So blueberries are fantastic. They're the best fruit. They, that dark, rich blue and black and purple color you're finding in blueberries, those are those antioxidants that actually support your body in producing and creating more collagen, which makes it an absolutely amazing superfood. Next superfood here I'm gonna talk about is sauerkraut, an amazing probiotic rich food. Here's the thing about probiotics. Probiotics increase the absorption, according to medical studies, they increase the absorption of iron, of vitamin C, of zinc, of vitamin B12. Of all of these nutrients I just mentioned, some of those nutrients actually cause your body and support your body in producing more of its own collagen on its own. That's why probiotics are so critical. We get very little of these today. You should be aiming for one serving a day of a probiotic rich food, or hey, if you take a probiotic supplement, that, that can be great as well. But you should, if, you, if you're not 
consuming a probiotic rich food daily, you should at least be taking a probiotic supplement. When you look for probiotic supplements, make sure it has ancient ingredients, make sure it has a lot of herbs and spices and things in it. But all that being said, sauerkraut. I like this brand, by the way, Bubby's as well. It's classic. It's very, very good, very clean. Um, this is a, a good type of sauerkraut, which is, which is a, and you don't need a lot of it, just literally like a couple tablespoons. It goes a long way at, at helping your body. Next thing up here is spinach, okay, organic spinach. Spinach and dark green leafies support collagen production. They're known in Chinese medicine to support your bones, your ligaments, your tendons. So greens are the most nutrient dense food. They're high in vitamin K, calcium, magnesium, all types, and a lot of B vitamins. So again, spinach. Now here's how I like to make my spinach. I like to either do it raw on a salad or I like to cook it up really lightly on kind of like a medium low heat and a little bit of coconut oil. And I've just put in, I also mince some garlic, put some garlic in with it, a little bit of sea salt, and then I just do kind of spinach like that. So I do spinach that's cooked in a little garlic or steamed with some hummus is great as well. But spinach is fantastic for supporting vitamin C production. And then, I'm sorry, collagen production. It actually has a little bit of vitamin C too. Um, and last thing here, this is dark chocolate. Now actually this is an empty wrapper because I think my wife secretly ate all of our chocolate, but um, we'll get more tonight. Um, but uh, anyways, all that being said, this is a good brand, this is Q Kitchen. Uh, I don't really like the mint flavor anyways, actually. Well, Chelsea loves the mint. I love the, uh, they have a vanilla flavor. They have a sea salt flavor. And they actually have an almond butter stuffed, stuffed chocolate, which is one of my favorites as well. But this dark chocolate, it's 70% cacao powder. It has two ingredients, cacao and coconut sugar. That is it, two ingredients, and it's mostly cacao. Dark chocolate, these antioxidants in dark chocolate, are some of the highest on the ORAC score, which means they're some of the most powerful antioxidants at reducing oxidation. Oxidation is when you take a bite of an apple and after a few minutes it starts to turn brown on the inside. That's what happens to our body. That oxidation can damage collagen. So the antioxidants found in dark chocolate help prevent oxidation, which helps you age slower. Uh, and there's some other foods here that do that as well. The blueberries, the goji, they're gonna prevent oxidation too as well. But again, dark chocolate. If you're looking for a good dessert, you don't need a whole bar. There's a little too much caffeine, a little too much sugar for that. But if you just have like, say, a couple squares, you know, like uh, maybe four total squares, man, that's a perfect dessert for you or snack that's also gonna help support your body in collagen production as well. Now listen, there are so many foods that can support collagen, but these are some of the top foods you can easily get a hold of that can help you produce more collagen yourself for your own body and just get more collagen in your diet in the case of things like bone broth here. So, hey, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on some of my favorite foods. These are things I have in my own pantry and refrigerator here that can help you boost your body's own collagen production.